Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk quickly about a missing backpacker in Olympic National Park named Laura Mack. She headed there on October 30th to the area around Enchanted Valley, parking her car at the Graves Creek Trailhead, intending to be out on November 1st, and did not return in time, and so crews are out looking for her. There's been a lot of scuttlebutt, I'll say, out there in the social media world about why was she going in in this weather? It was very rainy at the time. Why did she go in there solo? What could have happened to her? How dangerous is this? And I, I wanted to ask everybody to pause on a lot of judgment about that right now because uh, we really don't know that much about her right now. And it looks like she was at least reasonably prepared. She filled out a permit. looked like she had a Nemo tent a Nemo, a very high quality tents and built to withstand pretty solid weather, including a lot of rain. Uh, it looks like she also had a rain jacket of some sort, some kind of puffy jacket, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And she also listed where she intended on going. So I don't think there's anything that, you know, that stands out to me as being anything foolish as far as hiking solo. I personally do this all the time in any kind of weather, and I'll even go off trail and do it. Now, I don't know if she has my level of experience, but it doesn't matter. We don't know this in, in either way, one way or the other. I'd say the most likely thing that has happened to her is that she is either injured or has wandered off trail and gotten lost. Now, I think the thought of her being attacked by wildlife is extremely slim. There's a fair amount of black bears in Olympic National Park, but we're getting towards hibernation part of the year. And black bears, despite people being fearful of them, they really don't do much of anything when they see you. They either run the other direction or kind of just acknowledge what you are. And if you talk to them, they just go back to what they're doing. And I think the similar kind of thing with cougars, it's uh, pretty likely if you've hiked or backpacked that cougars have seen you, but they don't really want anything to do with you, even if you don't see them. And there's nothing really anything else that would have bothered her out there as far as wildlife goes. I don't think there's anything to be fearful of. I think it's much more likely that she's hurt or that she's lost. Now, there's another thing is that some news reports mention that she could have headed actually out to Lake Quinault, but I find that almost hard to believe looking at the map. I guess it's possible, but unlikely. I want to talk a little bit about her situation and what she might be in and what she might be doing and what the odds are of finding her and things like that. And I'm also going to share with you what I would do if I were in that situation or if you find yourself in a similar situation. The first thing is the fact that she has a tent. I refer to her as a backpacker. A lot of news reports refer to her as a hiker. So she's like prepared to be out there backpacking. I presume she has a sleeping pad and a sleeping bag. Her tent is going to be pretty darn close to waterproof. And I'm assuming that inside there, she'll be Pretty okay and protected from the weather unless the tent is destroyed. The second thing is that it's pretty likely that she has a synthetic sleeping bag as that's very common for this part of the world, especially in this kind of weather. And even if the synthetic sleeping bag is wet, it will still keep her insulated. Same thing, they mentioned that she had a puffy jacket. Even if these are down, as long as it's dry in the sleeping bag, she should be fine. And more and more puffy jackets and sleeping bags these days that are down are treated down and the shell is treated, which also helps out. So those all give her a pretty good chance if she's in the tent just in one spot. The other thing I, I want to say is that if you're in a situation like this, it's there's really three things that you can do as if you're lost and or injured. And they, I would say, are you need to stay put where you are, or at least in an area that is somewhat of a clearing to where you're visible. Stay put, shelter in place, and get your tent set up as best as you possibly can. Create some kind of windbreak if you need to, and just hunker down and wait it out. I know that's hard for a lot of people to do, but by staying put gives search and rescue by far the best chance of finding you. And the next thing I would say is do your best to make your area visible if you can. And you can do this by setting things out that are colorful nearby your campsite or play things like that in order to like make it to where, hey, look, somebody can see you from a distance from binoculars of the air and see where you are. So hopefully Laura is out there. She's hunkered down. She's safe and search and rescue can find her in the days to come. 
So thank you very much. And again, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, go and post them below. And if I do get an update, I will post it in the comments below.